Hello, my name is Aaron Albrecht. I'm the electrical engineer here at Northwire, and today I'm going to be talking about shielding on cables. We offer a variety of different types of shielding. Um, we can do a foil shield, a box weave braid shield, and a spiral shield. Obviously, the most effective shielding is going to be a combination of both a braid and a foil shield, but that's not always the most uh, applicable in the situation that the cable is going to be used in. Um, a spiral shield will give you a fairly flexible, feels fairly loose in the hands, but in a high, high flex life application, the spiral will actually loosen up and turn into almost a barber pole that will uh, reduce the shielding effectiveness of the cable over the duration of the flex. A box weave may feel slightly stiffer to the hand, but because it's interlocked, it'll stay together throughout the uh, flex application, throughout the flex life. From an electrical standpoint, the, most, the reason why a foil and a braid is the most effective is because a foil is good against high frequency noise and a braid is good against low frequency noise. The combination of the two covers all of your bases and really protects that cable the best against interference. The purpose of a foil as a shield can give you a pretty thin layer of shielding and still allows you to protect your cable without adding a lot of weight or a lot of cost onto your cable. There are instances where a foil shield may not be your best solution. If there is a high flex, it may break or it will break down a little bit sooner than a braid will. There are other applications where if you are protecting against low frequency noise, a shield is not going to be your best option. So ultimately it depends on the application and what you're trying to protect from of uh, what you would want to ultimately choose for an effective shield. In a perfect world, when you're connectorizing a uh, cable, putting the connector on, you're going to want to terminate that shield as effectively as possible on both ends of the cable. If there are multiple twisted pairs that each have their own shield, Again, it's most effective if each shield is terminated itself and they're not allowed to uh, touch each other electrically. However, that's not always an option. So whenever you're putting a connector on, the best practice is to terminate that shield so that will allow all of the noise that is captured by the shield to dissipate and will not interfere with your signal. Northwire offers a number of options for shielding. We have an aluminum mylar shield, we can do a box weave or basket weave, uh, tin copper or bare copper. We also have a stainless steel that we can put over and that would serve many other purposes than just shielding.